Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Ah, that sounds good. It's nice to be here in Australia once again. I know many of you hated us back in our play days. <laughs> A few still do. <laughs> That's not the only person in the band, though. Come on, tell them more about the band, fella. Come on. Well, he's forcing me to call another name. Richie Richardson, who is also a part of the band, unfortunately. <laughs> I am going to fire him very soon, but don't tell him I said that. You know, deserving that we won the top tournament, I'm happy for that. But as far as test cricket goes, I think we still have some way to go. I'm going to have to show a lot more consistency. Would you play T20? Give oh, a yeah, chance? definitely. Four overs. Give me four overs in a day. The captain won't be able to take me out with the ball anymore. And if I bowl... A bad over, they'll probably take me off, so I might on the ball too. And look at the returns. Look at the returns. I mean, oh yes, definitely. with that though Justin and he hasn't been honest you need to be honest with the public he should have started as a career with me in 84 and he waited four years later till 1988 tell the people why I was smart he started in 84 when he got all the big guns so of course he wasn't going to play much I decided you know let me wait a couple of years until the big guns left the scene so when I came in 88 I just walked straight into the team and became a regular member. We love talking about this. Uh, Steve Warren, a great Australian cricketer. I've got the highest respect for him. We've had our battles over the years. And I'm happy to say that I've won most of them. <laughs> and that incident in Trinidad, um, it was a very hard series as it always are, Western East versus Australia. And we were one down in the series, so a lot of pressure, a lot of tension were really flying about. And if you followed my career, you've noticed I've always given the batsman a steer. You know, and um, Steve Ward didn't like it that particular time. And he said to me, 